There is a sense of irony with the Professional Golf Association's relocation of the World Golf Championship from the Donald Trump-owned golf course in South Florida to Mexico City as the presumptive Republican presidential nominee started off his presidential campaign with a pledge to build a wall to keep out Mexicans and others from illegally entering the United States along the southern border. The PGA officially gives the reason behind the move that the group could not find a title sponsor for the event in not Trump's political campaign promises. The PGA has secured the Mexico City sponsor. Mexico is looked at as a growth area for United States sports organizations. It has been hinted that Mexico City could be in the running for a Major League Baseball team should the baseball owners look to expand after the owners and players agree to a new collective bargaining agreement. Baseball has been played in Mexico for well more than a century in Major League Baseball as staged regular season games in Monterey, which might also be viewed as a potential expansion franchise city. There's also a proposal for a bid for the 2026 World Cup of Soccer between the United States and Mexico. The National Football League has been marketing the Dallas Cowboys, Houston Texans, and Arizona Cardinals brand into Mexico for a long time, and on November 21st, the Oakland Raiders and Texans will play a regular season game in Mexico City. The National Basketball Association schedules regular season games in Mexico, and the National Hockey League might explore the feasibility of playing a preseason game in Mexico City in the future. Sports is no longer local. It is global. Whether the United States sports leagues are exporting a product to another country, or Mexico sends the country's national soccer team or local clubs to play in America. Sports knocks down walls for money. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.